Now let's talk about data encryption standard, uh, which is the DES. Um, uh, DES started 1977. It was the most used one, and it uses um, a block size of 40, 64 bits, um, and the key size is uh, used in, in the DES is 56 bit, as we said. Now, we have um, originally, originally, the key will be given to the um, algorithm is 64, so we need to transform from 64 to 56-bit. And the block size is 46-bit um, size. Now, let's go back to the main um, uh, things that happen in the algorithm. And the first of uh, all, well, the 64-bit uh, of the plain text is going into the first step which is called this is the first step first step is called initial permutation and the initial permutation we have to rearrange the bits in different position according to a matrix and we see that matrix and at the end we do reverse for the initial uh, in the permutation in order to get the cipher text in between we will have what we will have number of round round for the DS we have 16 round and for each round we use a key from key 1 to key 16 um, after the last round we do something called 32 bit swap uh, 32 bit swap so that the 16 round needs 16 key and in each round we do um, some operation uh, that we explained before the XOR and the uh, permutation uh, for the key we have the key is 48 bit originally the key was 64 bit so how do we transfer the key from 64 bit into 48 bit now the key can be transformed into operation so the 64 bit goes into an operation called PC1 the PC1 is permutation choice 1 and it's a matrix as well that change the position in for the bits inside the key so rearranging the key uh, again uh, this will produce uh, from the PC1 we will get 56 bit now this 56 bit is going this is the this is one time this is one time operation after that for each round we have to do for each round we take the 56 bit the 56 bit we do a left shift a left shift means what a left shift to transform it into a into a same thing 56 bit what does the left shift bit the left shift bit uh, is more like if you have one zero one zero a uh, number and you want to do a left shift you take the number on the left and you put it in the right like a circular one so it's become 0, 1, 0, 1 as a result. The same thing will happen here. After that, the 56 bit will be moved to um, 50, 48 bit using what? Using what we call PC2. So that's one will be moved to 4 using PC2. So again, in the second round, the same thing. We'll take the uh, key from here, 56 bit, and do a circular shift and then go pc2 uh, for all the round so from the original key we generate how many key we generate number of keys these keys will be different keys originally generated from the main key which is 64 bits now let's um, take an example uh, for each stage okay and uh, start with the initial permutation start with the initial permutation now the initial permutation originally uses um, a matrix so let's take the example um, now I have the text here in the first row and I have the key uh, in here I'll practice the uh, encryption uh, assume that we already have the first key I will take only the first round okay so this is the text what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do the first stage which is called permutation which is called what initial permutation if you look at the let's go back to the uh, stages and if you look at that we're gonna perform the initial permutation 
run. The initial permutation is very simple one. We have we move, uh, we move uh, to Excel to show you a real example how the encryption uh, will be done. So we have the text here, and the text is uh, containing 40, 64 bits. Uh, this is 64 bits. I'm going to write it right here. 64 bits uh, text. And we have the key here, and the key is 48 bit. We assume that we already have the key because now we will focus on the text encryptions. Um, so let's uh, try to see how is it happened. The first stage is called initial permutation. Um, now the initial permutation basically was used a matrix. I'm going to put the matrix here and show it to you uh, right away. So this is the matrix. I'm going to make it a little bit bigger so you can see it. This is called the initial permutation matrix. And I'm going to do the first step according to the diagram. And it is what? It is the initial permutation. So I'm going to rearrange and I'm going to put these bits into this matrix uh, in, in according to this position. So the first one is 58. Now in 58, we have number 1. So I'm going to put it in the first row. To make it easy for you, go down. As you can see that 58, 60, 62, 64. It's like a, an even order. All right. So the 58 is here. The 60 will be 1 down here. And the 62 will be um, z 0. Yes. And I'll put it down here. And then also the 64 is right here, which is 1. As you can see, the 64 is 1. So I'm just going to put it here. And then you take the the one down here, so the 57. Where is 57? This is 57, 0. I put the 0 here. And then the second one is 59, which is an odd order, a 0. And the one after that is 61. 61 is 0 as well, 0. And the last one is 63. 63 is 1. So this is the first column of the array. This is the first column of the array. And the same thing we go for the second column. So we have 50. The 50 will be uh, 0. And then 52, 1. So 0, 1. And 54, 1. And 56, 1. So 0, second row is 0, 1, 1, and 1. Now, the one down here is 49, 51, 53, 55. So it's like an even. Just add 2. All right. Where is the 49? 49 is here, um, uh, 0. And 51 is 0. And 53 is 0. 55 is 0. So all of them are zeros. All of them are 0. And you continue with the rest of the matrix. So when we finish the matrix, it will look like this. I'll make the font a little bit bigger so you can see that. Uh, this is the matrix. As you can see that, I will remove that uh, between the, this line uh, so you can put it together. This is the matrix initial permutation. Uh, now I need to put this as a one text, uh, as one line. So what I do, I copy the first line here. Copy the first line and put it right here so I can uh, see it and I'll paste it here and then the second row I'll copy the second row and add it to the end of that uh, the same thing here and I'll copy that one as well uh, copy and paste it here um, as well and I will do the same for the whole row just put them in one line like this If you miss one uh, bit, uh, then your encryption will be uh, uh, error. So you have to make sure that you copy the exact bits from the same row. The last row we copy and we copy that. Okay. So we rearrange the text. This is the new text now that we rearrange it from the original text. So I'm going to make it uh, colored uh, 
yellow, similar to the uh, one, the first one. So we'll make sure that uh, we have the same text. So, so this is the, the original text. We just what we just rearrange it according to the matrix. We call this one in initial pair mutation. So you can remember that. Okay. This is called initial pair mutation, the first step. And this step is done one time. Okay, this is the same text, but rearranged.